at the National Cancer Institute, NIH. He has completed his medical studies from the various prestigious universities such as Harvard, Johns Hopkins University, and Vanderbilt University Medicine Center. He further trained in gynecological oncology at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and served as the head of gynecological cancer therapeutics for 20 years with the NCI's division of cancer treatment and diagnosis. He spearheaded the development of cancer research and strategy for treatment for can gynecological cancers at the NCI. Sir, we thank you for honoring us with your presence today and request you to say a few kind words. Thank you very much for that introduction. I'm honored to be here, um, particularly on, a, on a, such a distinguished panel as, as Dr. Shanta and Dr. Reddy and our um, distinguished uh, health secretary. Um, we, as, as Dr. Shanta said, have the opportunity to make major progress in cancer, in um, decreasing the incidence of cancer, in improving early diagnosis of cancer, um, ensuring that people diagnosed with cancer get the appropriate therapy. But it can only be done as a, as a community that involves civil society, involves the private sector, involves ministries of health, um, in, involves the, the, the general public. We've heard um, in Dr. Shanta's talk about the importance of, of surveillance for the incidence of cancer, looking at different um, patterns of cancer, uh, looking at the, um, uh, the, the epidemiology of cancer so that we can understand both why cancer occurs as well as identify those populations uh, where we can um, do more in terms of prevention. As Dr. Shanta mentioned, we now have a, a preventive vaccine for the human papillomavirus, uh, which we hope will reduce the incidence of, of cervical cancer worldwide. We have screening for cervical cancer, and we have effective treatment both for pre-invasive disease and invasive cervical cancer. And we have palliative care uh, for those women who are, um, uh, uh, whose cancer cannot be cured. So we can make major progress, uh, but as Dr. Shanta says, it will take a um, combined effort to, uh, for, uh, to do so. For breast cancer, we have also made major uh, progress in terms of understanding better the, the patterns of, of breast cancer. Uh, we now have uh, moderately good screening for breast cancer, um, and we also um, have learned about the importance of uh, working toward the early, early evaluation of breast masses and the early uh, diagnosis of, of breast cancer. We do have good uh, treatment for breast cancer when diagnosed early. And so I think, as Dr. Shanta said, it's important that we work as a community to expand access to the effective treatment um, as well as early diagnosis for, for breast cancer. Dr. Shanta also emphasized the importance of uh, looking at other risk factors such as tobacco, oral tobacco for, for oral cancer as well as smoked uh, tobacco for, for lung cancer. This is another critical area that we need to work on together to reduce the, uh, the, the risk for cancer. And in the case of, of uh, smoking uh, tobacco, also to reduce the risk of, of heart disease and lung disease. So I think we have an unprecedented opportunity to work together on um, cancer control, as well as to help understand uh, the biology of cancer, to help improve therapy for cancer, and to help reduce the, uh, the, the, the burden of cancer uh, globally, as well as in each country. One of the things that we want to do is to uh, strengthen our collaboration in cancer research uh, between India and the United States. We've made much progress uh, working together, and I think we can do much more working together. So I'm looking forward to the, uh, the talks today and our uh, both formal and informal conversations about how we can work more closely together. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we request our beloved chairman, to felicitate our guests, Dr. J. Radhakrishnan. Dr. 
to Dr. Shanta. Dr. Trimble. Thank you, sir. It has been said, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. This is with certain an apt description of our visionary chairman, whose unparalleled dedication has been to bring world-class healthcare to India. A philanthropist, a leader, a healer, and an innovator. He has been awarded the prestigious Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan by the government of India for his immense contribution in the field of health and healthcare. In oncology, his mission has been to take the fight against cancer to the next frontier and redefine clinical benchmarks and outcomes. In this, Apollo stands for the hope that, and, and resolute that cancer is conquerable. Sir, may I request you to please give the special address. Namaste. I think it's a great occasion for us first to pay uh, the nation's respect to Dr. Santa, her first public function after receiving Padman Vibhushan. I don't think she need, needs introduction here or any part of the country, and especially in oncology. She served only for 62 years in, in cancer for the, the, the nation. Santa, thank you for giving us an opportunity to be here today for us to have this privilege of honoring you. But I think uh, we all know, and you have just given us the great statistics behind what is the situation of oncology in the country. Because we are very proud that uh, Edward Timble uh, from uh, Director of Center, of Global, Center for Global Health and NIC is here. Uh, I think that the whole organization today and the, this meeting today, uh, you are the center, Dr. Temple. I hope you and your team will give us that steam to make whatever we have put there cancer is conquerable. Our dynamic Secretary of Health has always supported whatever you know was necessary to make an impact on the health of the state. Whether it's bringing transformation in, uh, I remember in uh, today, if Apollo is the has, has the leadership in uh, um, tra uh, solid trans organ transplants, we owe a lot to the great administrative support that we have received from the state government and the media. So I hope these two combinations, in presence of Dr. Santa and Dr. Temple, will build this great partnership that we need to truly say that cancer is conquerable. We all know in this city, two years ago, we had a conference where, in the same hall, more than 2,500 uh, delegates and 250 faculty and international uh, health ministers came here and we discussed and a strategy was given, presented to the state government and to the central government. We sincerely hope this forum today will give an action plan when we will take this forward. Not that things are not happening, they are happening. What we need to is, is to accelerate and bring this partnership closer together and make an impact and say, there is no need for a woman to die unnecessarily from cancer. I hope all of you will take this pledge that women can be saved from cancer. Uh, you know, when UCL announced in London 
that by 2050, there will be no cancer deaths in UK. I mentioned to our Prime Minister, saying our nation has the capability. We have eradicated polio. Suppose you take an action saying, make a statement saying in five years, we will eradicate cancer cervix. And in 10 years or 20 years, we'll have a plan to see that there is no cancer deaths or avoidable cancer deaths in our country. I think this is what is needed. But I'm, but the, the people uh, know it, it is not just the rural population. We heard from Dr. Shanta. There are uh, variation between rural and urban population, educated and uneducated people who have slight difference. But you, we know very well that even the most educated, most affluent people still are ignorant when to go to a doctor in time to make a difference. Uh, I just saw uh, one of my uh, friend's son. Uh, three years ago, he was having a health check with us, and his wife was there. I said, why didn't you have a checkup? He said, no, 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 I came. I'm concerned my husband is working too hard, so I came to see that he, he's all right. But unfortunately, I saw uh, both of them three days ago in Hyderabad, but uh, he said, we shall listen to you on that day. Um, now, today, I think she has a little more advanced cancer. Can we all say that we'll, we will remove this shadow of fear or shadow of saying, I, don't, I think I am all right, but please don't say it. Let, good, let the health advisors, the doctors tell you that your health is good. You must go for, for screening. I think this is the most important, bringing awareness and screening. If you can do this, I think you can make a very major impact in transforming not uh, cancer. Cancer, yes. You know, today's oncology was yesterday's cardiology. All these slogans are there, but we all know the dreadful effects of NCD on the developing nations like India and the under, underdeveloped world. World Economic Forum said that there's going to be 20, $30 trillion expense on NCDs. Can we afford that? Maybe even if you afford the money, can we afford the number of young people who are going to be lost uh, to the national development and to their own families? I think this is where these are preventable and this can be approached with when, when we have a great collaborative effort you know, from all the sections of the society. The government should, will help us. The you know, institutes like Cancer Institute can give us some of the directions. And I'm sure today, from Dr. Temple from NICM Global Health Forum will also help us to say, if you all want, to, want we were there to support you and we'll work with uh, uh, the various health organizations to make this possible. I think this is very necessary. Last two days I was in, I come from a very small village, about 100 miles from here. I spent two days there because uh, I said I must do something for that. Uh, so previously we were looking after three villages. Uh, our oncology team is here. Four years ago they, they found five women with cancer. Last three years there was no cancer. Uh, in, in that sm small village group. But then, basing on that example, I said, I will adopt the entire mandal, which is uh, 39 panchayats and 104 villages, comprising of 69,000 people, who, from infancy to the last breath, will take care of the physical, mental, ecological, social, and uh, holistic health. So I was there to see how to implement this program. God willing, they promised me by December of this year, they would have completely screened all of them and their data will be there and they will know where, what and how they could manage their, their health conditions. And more importantly, to have some of these studies, you know, Preeta was suggesting uh, Dr. Global Health Forum Dr. Edward Temple is, is, is also willing to support this program, saying um, the, the, the number of people who are eligible for this program.
maybe a thousand, will get the vaccine, and we have the comparable uh, uh, other uh, equal number, which will follow for the next 10 or 20 years, and see how the effectiveness of this. If this is good, good, I think uh, it will make a very big impact. We have a major program going on, and I hope some of you will uh, visit that place. I know I, I'm asking all our doctors to see what we can do. They, they did an X-ray, an eye camp to start with. There are about 180 of them are coming to Sankarnetralia for their uh, cataract surgeries. So I think what we need is to have this type of an organized communities to be totally screened and have a program which is uh, authentic and which can make an impact in all people. But for today, all that I can say is whatever we decided two years ago, cancer is conquerable, uh, is, is our goal. And I'm sure if we all set our foot and work together with that integrity and great strength, there's nothing that will stop us. I also want to thank this uh, uh, the Marga, the path of healthy living. All the panelists, uh, congratulations. I think you can bring not only awareness, the charm, and uh, most of your talented artists uh, that can make an impact in, on the society to learn in a very pleasant way that uh, all of these entities are preventable. I'm happy to announce in, in, for, uh, in uh, I have one of my family members, my granddaughter, who is doing on wellness. She just tied up with Dr. Chop, Deepak Chopra in uh, uh, US to work on, on wellness. So I think wellness is to keep away from this uh, women oncology, right? So I think I hope all, all of us today will take not a pledge within ourselves to say we are committed to stay well, we are committed to keep our families well, but we are equally committed to say what can we do for the nation's good health. If that is there, simple as it is, I'm sure it'll, uh, India will not go through what we are. And uh, I told the Prime Minister saying what is needed is to first c complete that promise. Our Health Minister made a promise in the UN that they'll screen 100,000, 100 million people for diabetes, cancer, heart, and uh, advice on infections. But unfortunately, the program didn't kick off, I'm sure, with our health secretary here. He'll make Tamil Nadu as the leadership, and we are with you. All the uh, teams are with you. God bless all of you. Oh, I must congratulate Preeta for making this possible to bring the NIC uh, teams together and uh, to have uh, this Margaret uh, team to be with us today. God bless. Dr. N. Satyabama, Director of Medical Services and Quality, Apollo Southern Region. Ma'am has been with our chairman even before the inception of Apollo. Dr. Bama, I must say, is a true example of a leader and the driving force of, uh, to take clinical ex excellence and quality to an international level. Ma'am, I would like to invite you to give the vote of thanks. Namaste. As the significant and inspiring inaugural event comes to your close, we marvel at our good fortune to have such luminaries on board to the, to the cause of women's oncology. Have, after listening to all these leaders, the take home message for each one of us is that we should adopt definitive and audacious steps to curb the cancer. It's always very comforting and a good woman to have our chairman, Dr. Reddy, at the helm of every one of our crucial initiatives. He exudes enthusiasm, he exudes en encouragement, he imparts a will into each one of us to excel in what we do ourselves. The 70,000 plus Apollo staff members are very proud and honored that he is our founder chairman, but we realize